Jarrell, who have been at this game a long time, to get to this game? Right. How much more does it mean to you? Um, it's another game in our. Well, we we we're just trying to take it one game at a time, and this one's all that matters. Um, we knew if our situation started in Houston and our playoffs started in, we had a win, and all we can focus on is this week. And so this is a big one for us, and we just got to take care of this week. You guys in this locker room, you, you, you mentioned the brotherhood. You mentioned how you play for each other. What exactly does that mean to you? Like, how can you make that tangible for people who haven't been in that type of situation before? Right. Um, you put a lot of time into this. It's not just, hey, you show up at camp, you play. Um, it starts in the off season. It starts in free agency. It starts as you're building that bond with guys who you've never met before, and it, it takes time. And we do everything possible to try to be a close knit group from spending time outside of football to going to dinners together, spending time with your families together. And it means more if you have a personal relationship with the guy next to you because you don't want to let your brother down. If it's just a teammate, you don't know him, it might be easier. But when you when you care for that guy beside you and you know what his family's going through, you love each other and you go out there and you lay on the line for each other. How's Derek evolved as a leader since since he's gotten here? Derek's a guy who puts the work in every day. It started out by just seeing how hard he worked day in and day out. And he's a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal guy. And he's taken those steps as showing us how much he cares, what it takes to be a leader. The guy's playing his tail off every week. And you look up to guys like that because you see how much it means to him. And you don't want to let a guy down like that. He's got more vocal, though, too, as it's gone along, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Um, he's matured as a player. He's been, and it takes time in this league. It's hard to come in as a young guy and be the vocal guy. And he did it the right way. He came in and showed us how hard he worked. And as a veteran, that's what you want to see as a young guy who's working hard every day and don't say a lot. And now he's taken that role and stepped up as being a leader. And we trust that guy and we love that guy to death. Are you guys marveling at all at what he's doing right now? The numbers are insane. Uh, he's an amazing player. And we knew he has it in him. But our thing is just don't let it in now. Um, just keep grinding each week and just trying to get a little better each week. How much well, different is your group? Like in the huddle where he kind of gets worked up and I know Mike kind of talked about him, him wanting the ball. Do you hear him say that? And what's he like when he's kind of rolling? Yeah, um, most of the time he's not saying much. Um, he's just, you can see it in his eyes and his demeanor in the huddle. Um, he's a guy who, who wants to touch the ball. You see um, when, you're, when, you, when he's having those runs and having those games, uh, his focus, his leadership, and He's just determined, and we love seeing that look. How much different is your group been now than when you guys started off the season? Uh, it's a process as an offensive line. You, the more you play with each other, the better you get. Um, it's just a bond, and we've got to keep playing well. And if not, we could be home next week. So our mindset is we've got to grind this one out and do what we did in the past couple of weeks and just keep, um, keep chucking wood. There's been that unit. You guys have had some challenges, you know, with the injuries and, and changes at right guard. Uh, Taylor to missing the f first four games. Roger kind of getting used to, to a new team. Uh, did you have a point where, where maybe everything started clicking for you all? Uh, it's the whole NFL season. It's not what you're doing at the beginning or the end. You got to be playing your best ball at the end of the year if you want to be winning. And we're playing our best ball right now. And uh, all the previous games and up, that doesn't matter now as long as you're playing well at the end of the year. Coach Rabel just mentioned you was the glue that holds that offensive line together. You got a front row seat, the guys to the left of you. How, how have you seen them just kind of come together and, and play the way that they are playing now? Right. Um, those guys work extremely hard every day. Um, the passion they put into it, how much they care, what, what they do off the field together. And we're just a unit that's trying to be the closest group in the, in the building, spending time together because if it's one guy not on the same page, it can make the, a negative play. So we got to have five guys on the – same mindset on each play. Have there been moments in the last couple games where you can see the front seven is like, we don't want any more of this line and this running back? And, and if so, how satisfying when you sense that from them? Um, in the game, I'm really looking at the guy in front of me and trying to make sure my guy doesn't make the tackle. And that's our mindset. Uh, if your guy's not making the tackle, that means that's one less guy that can tackle Derek. And, and if you're doing your job and not looking back and you're helping Derek up after four and five yard carries, you can see it's wearing on them, but our goal is as long as your guy's not making the play, you're doing your job. I'm sure you've been on some teams where when guys get hurt and you get to the back end of the roster, there's kind of those uh-oh moments on the sideline. But this team in this run has gotten contributions from everybody. I mean, how much confidence is there from 1 to 53 on this team compared to normal? 
Yeah, um, I know as our group, um, that's what uh, the GM, the head coach is getting a competitive roster and getting guys who can play. It's not just, you're not just on the team. You're here to help this team win in any shape and form. And that's what we take pride about. Anybody on this team can go out there and help us win. How have you seen uh, Tannehill's leadership and I guess vocal in the huddle increase as the weeks have gone on? Yeah, um, you saw him once he got here in OTAs and during camp, um, you, you can tell he's been a starter in this league. And once he stepped in there, and he, he's a competitor. And that's what you want in a quarterback. You want a guy who can lead, who wants to win, and he'll put it on the line for you. And we respect him. And we go out there and try to keep him clean. How has it been in, in some respects that when you guys are running the way the ball, running the ball the way you are and, and taking time off the clock, that it doesn't always really matter what the other offense is doing? Right. You can only control what you can control. You don't have to worry about what other teams are doing. We just got to focus on the moment. And our job is to go out there, execute as the offensive line, open up holes and protect the quarterback and, and let the game play out how it is. And if you start worrying about what other, about everybody else is doing on the team, you get away from your job. I'm assuming you watched the Chiefs yesterday and, and what are the challenges when you face them, a team you've already faced once this season? Yeah, they got, a, they got a great team. Um, they go out there, they execute it, um, they're explosive, and we know – we got we're going into an environment that's going to be loud, and but that's what it's been for us the past four weeks, and we're up for the challenge, and we're looking forward to going to the Chiefs and playing. It's pretty incredible when you look that you've beaten the AFC South champs, the AFC um, East champs, and the AFC North champs in the last three weeks. You got a chance to take out all four over a four-game pan. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that. I'm just worried about one week at a time, but that's just our mindset as a team. Um, you can't look down the road and. This is just the next team, and that we know what we have in our hands. They're they're a great team. They have a lot of great players on that team, but we got to focus in, and it's just one week at a time. It points out though, there's nothing cheap about this run you guys are on. Yeah, um, that's every if you're playing your best football in December, that's all that matters. And whoever's doing that throughout January, that's the ones who gets to the next step. And we're playing our best ball right now. We just got to keep it going. Guys are doing right now. Patriots and Ravens stacked the box, knowing what was coming. You guys still were effective. How satisfying is that as an offensive line that they know what's coming? They just can't stop you sometimes. Yeah, um, as an offensive lineman, that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to run the ball and protect your quarterback, and we've done that for the past two weeks. But um, you're only as good as the next game, and no matter what we've done in the past, nobody's going to remember that. We've got to be good the next week.